Yeah, my people, um, una well done, eh? You remember say, I tell una say, you get witty, I want Yanona, based on my experience, what I witnessed with this, my two naked eyes, eh? For Imo State. You remember, we went to Imo State, I and area father, to submit the demand of Imo State people on the grounds of now we be government under the social contract initiative eh? and when i got to emo state man waiting my eyes see i know go talk say my mouth no fit talk because my mouth go talk but before i talk what i see here eh? i won't say this as a disclaimer because all that fear of a bar say I know they talk this thing as say I be Governor Ihedi or her spokesperson or his image maker or have any interest with current government of Imo State. No. I they talk am because you know go take people go talk say why they say this one be say I don't go see Ihedi probably. In don't in don't in don't give me money to attack governor. You know, so some people are so uh, are so you know how do I put it? They are, they are so myopic and they, they they try to be sentimental where they are where where they are supposed to be realistic. You see, and another thing is that you tend to criticize a particular thing from afar because. You do not see or understand exactly what is happening inside. That is why I believe we have to be inside the system to fight and address the issues in that system. That is my position. You know, before now, when all these um, you know, media thing about you heard your uh, demolition or attacking Rocha Sokorocha indiscriminately, pulling down the structures of Rocha Sokorocha and all the rest of them, I, 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 I as a person, as a human. I, I I I bought into that, you know. I I had the opinion that Ihedio should concentrate on giving good governance to Imo State people and play, you know, give little attention to the past administration. But my people, what I see for Imo State make me think otherwise. What I'm telling you is the plain, unadulterated truth. Now. I have heard that many of the constructions that happened during the Rocha Sokorocha time were Chinese products, as they normally call it. Inferior products, inferior construction with inferior materials. And I was like, how is that possible? Until I came in contact with this flyover. I knew when this flyover was being, con being constructed and in less than three up to three years two years they've not even finished the construction see what they happened there oh yeah well i nage balong wogi christmas where was their result over to you Yeah, hello. I am right here in Oweri. Uh, I'm coming for something very important, but 
I bump into this very place where there is construction work going on. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this bridge was constructed by the former governor of Imo State. Uh, it's not been quite long this bridge has been constructed. And this road also, if you can see behind me, this road was constructed alongside with that flyover by the former administration. Listen, I'm not here to castigate any administration, but I'm here to castigate bad work. Honestly speaking, what I saw here is I saw. You see, the gory erosion, just within few years of this um, construction that was uh, done by the former administration. But here, you can see a major work happening right here. Look at it behind me. Huh? We hope that this current administration, like we've seen so far, because if I'm on here, but I'm not Eh? What we are seeing is what we, see, we report what we see. From what we are seeing here, there is an urgent emergency work going on here to cobble this um, this um, er erosion that is trying to tear this road apart. Honestly speaking, we are not pressing in anyone, and uh, we are not into um, eye service. But when we see something, we say something. We commend the ongoing work and effort in uh, trying to uh, fix this place because you can see. A lot of traffic has been caused by this very um, bad road. You can see the erosion. You can see it. You can see that. Good. So we hope that this work will continue in all the places that you have bad um, and inferior um, constructions. Yeah, because what was used to do or construct these things, uh, public funds. So, um, we can't allow that to continue happen in the wasting of um, public funds in the name of construction or doing um, eye services. So thank you for watching. I'll keep bringing it to you live, fresh. I'm right here in Uwere. Huh? It is time to fix your government. And I tell you, we are impressed. Till I come to you again, huh? keep watching BVI Channel 1, keep following me, and um, keep dropping your comments, huh? because we're taking it inside the government house. Thank you so much. You have seen it. You know, go talk, see, I just they talk out of toxic. You go, you don't see I'm by yourself. You go join me on the same page to say the same thing when I say now. Say so why is it that it has become a culture in Nigeria? Not only in Imo State or in the what would what Imo people witness during the era of Iberiberis in Imo State, eh? but in Nigeria in general, it has become a culture, a norm to accept that government is a failure and we should be comfortable with it government schools they are not working so we should be comfortable to to, to uh, with it you can take your children to private schools mm? these are the stories of nigeria school particularly in the rural areas are in terrible condition this is a story of just one rural school and the challenges it faces this is Kujama 2 Primary School. Blessing is one of over 1,000 pupils. Her teacher is Mrs. Hamatu Jan. Sir, I am Master Usman. I am Master Usman. I say you should mention your own name. If you are blessed, you say blessing. Do you get it? Yes. If you are savior, you are just, just say savior. Just mention your own name. Do you get it? Yes. Say, I am Master Usman. I am Master Usman. Government hospitals, it is good, you know. We all know that it is not working, so why bother yourself? Eh? Mm -hmm. So, whatever they give as government hospitals, you just take it and just 
try to if you really want good medical care you go to private hospitals the health situation in Nigeria is traditionally been thought of, certainly in the last few decades, to be quite poor. For example, the federal government of Nigeria itself estimates that $2 billion a year is lost annually due to a loss of confidence in the Nigerian healthcare sector. There was also a report from the Lancet Global Health Commission that estimated that approximately 376,000 Nigerians died just in 2016 alone from poor quality healthcare. The concept of establishing Eurocare was really based upon three fundamental factors. The first one was ensuring that we could provide those patients with an international healthcare facility. We have a complete package of resources that we're able to deliver to our patients all in within one location. This includes the cardiac catheterization laboratory, the operating theater, the intensive care unit, as well as a full range of diagnostic equipment ranging from a 64 slice CT scanner, 1.5 Tesla MRI, ultrasound, echocardiogram, even up to transesophageal echocardiogram. It was a despicable and shameful experience this morning at uh, Warimpa General Hospital in Abuja, here in Federal Capital Territory. We arrived at the uh, hospital at exactly 5 minutes past 3 a.m. Then we proceeded to the emergency because it was an emergency uh, situation of a young boy. We were asked to go and secure a card. Now that lies with the accounts officer to receive the money for the card. Uh, getting to the account officer's office, he was nowhere to be found. We looked all over and we started hitting the window as you could hear there was nowhere to be found no security officer on duty we went round and found this security man sleeping we woke him up explained uh, the situation to him he accompanied us to the accounts uh, section he also tried to find an officer on duty but none was there now the nurse at emergency explained her situation that she cannot attend to us if we don't have the right card we spent one hour and ten minutes within this confusion before we took this young boy to another hospital today is a very sad day for me Today is a day that has confirmed the hopelessness of the health sector of this nation. But I ask this question. When these people were there inside government, when they won't do their personal thing, or even individuals, when they won't construct their private schools, when they won't construct their private hospitals, when they won't set up anything infrastructure wise or industry they bring it and raise it to the standard international standard i must tell you but when it comes to public utilities and eh? i need to play the people 419 this is a scam of a government you those of you that are in europe you can attest to the fact that government any government institution is a standard that private institutions have to meet up with they have raised the bar that public schools are much more sophisticated more equipped more functional than private private schools the same is applicable to hospitals people go to private hospital maybe as a result of convenience and all that arrangement you know private things yeah but when it comes to service government is supposed to be there while the private sector is expected to meet up with the standard but here it is the other way around because few individuals have hijacked the soul of the society few individuals have hijacked the means of livelihood in nigeria and have caged it so if you want to go to school and acquire good education you have to go to their private schools the private schools own by some of this political class are the elite class.
who have in one way or the other stolen public funds to set up those things. If you want to get good medical service, you have to go to their private hospital. Even the church have joined in the train and that is the heartbreaking part of the whole thing. Just schools. Hmm? <laughs> you can't even afford to go there. Your children can't even afford to pay their school fees. Much more of going to their hospitals. You've not seen anything yet. But when it comes to public schools, public hospitals, public utilities, construction of roads and infrastructure that will benefit the public, mm -mm. they'll be giving us inferior stuff because they have access to the heavens they have created for themselves, especially in Europe and in America or in the developed world. But here, they kill everything. They kill everything that will benefit the ordinary people. And that is what I say it must stop. And the only way it can stop is when the people realize the powers they have and start freeing themselves mentally and understand that those in government are public servants. They are supposed to serve public interest. And when they are not doing that, you have the right to kick them out. I don't care about whether you call it revolution or treason or whatever you call it. But the truth is that when the people say they don't want you anymore in government, you should be flushed out. They have the powers to do and undo government. When the government has become a leech, a parasite on the people, without adding any single value, you take everything, you stop life away from the people. And you say they don't have right to say no to it. No. No, I disagree with you. And I must tell the people that the powers lies on you. You are the government. Now you, now me, we the people, that will be government. Those public servants, eh, they be your servant. And until we identify servant leaders, because Bible talks, say, the person will go lead you, person will go be your head, go be your servant. But here, the people where they lead you are your emperors, your oppressors, and your subjugators. They have no human feelings whatsoever. And until you say enough is enough, by identifying people, not those giving you bags of, um, who is giving you bag of rice, gives you um, delicate cups of rice and tomatoes during election period, eh? I buy your vote for 1,000 naira. If you are lucky, they will give you 2,000 naira for one vote. And those of you who are working as a thug, working as a, a foot soldiers for these politicians to get into power, and at the end of the day, if you sum up everything you get, you will not even get up to 20,000 naira. And at the end of the day, you live your whole life a miserable life. It is high time you say, enough is enough. We are bringing up a political revolution that overwhelms these people. When the time comes, we, we tell you the template. The political revolution is a must to give opportunity to servant leaders to be in government to serve the public interest and not the other way around. It starts from you because everything where they happen to us, eh? now you cause them. All of us. We are guilty as charged. Those who say they no go vote, they are guilty. Those who went to vote to, to sell their vote, they are much guiltier if there is any language like that. And as I open your eyes, I am talking about Imo people. The same is applicable to the entire region of the Southeast, South, South, North Central, Northwest, Southwest, and whatever you call it, not Central, all of them, not East. All the things that you are seeing in Nigeria, you are the direct victims. Don't be used. Do not be used anymore. The liberation and the freedom of the people starts from here. Understand the power you have. And that is where I'll be ending it. Hmm? Let me not say too much. I've said too much already. Because the word is enough for the wise. And a lot of words have been pushed out. I don't know whether my people my viewers, Nigerians, are you fools? Somebody, somebody sometimes said, it seems that Africa or Nigerians are the cause or they are the cause of their problem. Either they are cause or they are the cause of their problem. Make you take your hand, answer that question.
Now, up and I'm here. I have a lot to do. Keep subscribing. Keep liking. Keep sharing. Here <laughs> is more than a church. Here we go deeper to bring out the in depth of what you have. To provoke the real man, the real human in you. You are first a human before anything. And you must live. In fact, I talk and that is what I'll just be saying because I'm an all say now. Okay, they close all that. I see, eh? Make I talk this one, make I drop up for here. Say, nobody is living in Nigeria. Yes, nobody is living in Nigeria. Everybody in Nigeria, especially the ordinary people like you and me, we are just surviving. Hmm? If you want to see where people are living, go to developed countries. Please keep subscribing, eh? Don't forget to do that. Keep liking, keep sharing, eh? I'm off.